first things first, um, Carl Jung says, people are doing the best way they know how based on the level of awareness that they have at that moment. Number two, these people who are mean, ugly, nasty to you, they're not actually mean, ugly, nasty to you. They just carry deep inside and they project it to anyone who they meet. And nagkataon lang, you were there, then you were the right target. But the only question I'll ask you, like what Buddha would say, if somebody gives you a gift of you know, anger, being nasty or ugly, receive it. Who does it belong to? It's yours. You like received it. It's then it's now. yours. Yeah. But is it also possible if I give it, say, you know what, Russ, thank you. How are you today? I'd like to know what's going on. I'm just here to support you. Would that be possible? Yeah. Except that we were all wired up. No? When something's not working, resist. Right? And something's not working, when somebody push you, you push back. Versus Aikido. A way of life, harmony. Okay, that's why um, I really like uh, the word compassion. It's simply because every humanity, according to Carl Jung, again, is just doing the best way they know how. So, if that is the best way they know how to survive in their life, maybe they have so many things that they experience. Then, at the moment you were there, you were the perfect target. But the question here is: Are you willing to accept it? Are you willing to go on a higher humanity level, which is, I would always say, compassion? I love it. And um, I'll put this down so that <laughs> it's not mine. It's not mine anymore. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I think, th thank you for highlighting, you know, compassion. I think it's not people not really understanding people. It's really people not being compassionate enough. And one of the things that I learned about being compassion is compassion in Latin means to suffer with. So you're basically, you know, um, putting yourself in a place where you understand the suffering that that people is currently enduring. And um, I, 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 do you want to add on to that? Uh, I, I heard you say the word understand and perhaps not all of the time you understand but perhaps maybe accept the reality that might come from is a past experience that I bring into the present. And this is my gift to whoever I meet. And it's completely up to me whether I receive the gift or I just say, uh, you know what? I see you bigger and better than that. Okay? And, and just allowing yourself to know that everyone who comes into your life, it's either... They can be a pain or they can be a lesson to learn. It's, it's really up to you. It's your choice. And um, a lot of things will change in your life once you understand that everything is your choice. If, the, if you want to build your relationships, it's really up to you. If you want to destroy the relationships around you, it's really up to you. And you have that choice. So thank you for sharing that, Coach. And one thing that I also would like to know more of is in the sense of romantic relationships... Because um, maybe you might know that I'm recently, uh, <laughs> I have recently discovered a very new love interest. She's actually watching here. Hi. Hi. <laughs> but um, so applying that in a relationship context for the people who are, you know, in their early stages, what do you think is the best advice or like best advices that you could give so that they could take care of their relationship? Mm -hmm.